Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this user login and registration system, we've already determined how to use a log how to log a user in. So what we've done is we've created the index.php page with our um, if statement and we've used our login function which is located in core. Um, we've also created our login form and we've been able to process this inside this um, and that that's used as an include. So we're keeping our index.php page as clean as possible. Now let's go over to our browser and see that we're logged in at the moment and there's no way we can actually get out of this at the moment. What we need to do is create a page that's going to kill all our session variables that we've used. Um, you can kill specific ones but probably better just use session destroy um, which we have already covered in previous tutorials so if you're not comfortable with this then go back and have a look at that. So I'm going to create a new page and this is going to be called um, logout.php. Okay, so we're going to include a link in our login form. In fact, no, in index.php. We're going to say you're logged in, and then we're going to give the user the option to log out. So we're going to create a link, and it's going to say log out, and this is to logout.php. So let's just go to our browser and refresh. You can see we've got our logout button uh, link come up. If we click that, we go to logout.php. Now we need to create some code inside logout.php to actually log our user out. And the first thing I'm going to do is think about if the user logs out on a specific page. Remember we're including these, so we could actually, for example, um, we could show our login form at the, in a header file in our page. Um, we could have a template system with a header. Um, which never changes so we could be on one or many page we could be on one of many pages when we click log out so in core I want a variable called referrer called HTTP referrer and this is using again the predefined server environmental variables and it's just HTTP underscore referrer and what this is going to do is this is going to tell us the page that we've come from. So let's um, let's um, try this uh, first of all in 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 log out. So therefore we need to require core.php. Core now there's a reason we need to require this anyway. Remember in core.ink.php we've got session start to log out to kill a session or destroy a session we need to start the session use beforehand. So uh, require, require core.ink.php and we're going to echo out this HTTP referrer variable to see if it works. So HTTP referrer. Okay, so we're coming from index.php when we click this button. So hopefully when we land on login logout.php, it's going to tell us where we came from. So if we click logout, we've now got um, the full URL of where we um, came from, which is uh, localhost forward slash series forward slash users and forward slash index.php. So after we've processed the logout, we can re refer ourselves back to this page using that and a combination of that and the header um, header function. So let's go ahead and program in everything in logout.php. The first thing we need to do, or we've already done, is include this file, require this file and we've started our session in here. So now all we need to do is say session underscore destroy. So this is gonna kill all sessions that we've already created. We've only got one session, and that goes by the name of user um, ID, um, and we've set this here. So we'll just we'll just use the session destroy, um, let's go to logout.php, use session destroy, that will just make sure everything we've already set in the session is destroyed. So um, now what we need to do is we need to refer the user back to the page that they came from. So we're going to be using the header function here. And just to point out at this point, we're already um, we're already uh, processing um, data hit. Um, we're giving output before this point, so that's why we've used ob start. There's a tutorial on that as well if you haven't already um, understood why we've put that in. So we need header, and we're going to say location colon space and then we're going to append on the HTTP referrer that we echoed out earlier to demonstrate 
so HTTP referrer, uh, and we're good to go now. So if we come into our um, index.php page, remember our index.php page, if we're not logged in, so presumably when we click the log out people.php, sessions are going to be destroyed. We're going to be referred back to this page. We're not going to be logged in, so now we're going to include the login form and display the login form to the user. So let's have a look at that. Let's click log out and see what happens. Okay, so we've been referred back to index.php very quickly. See how quickly it processes. Ready for us to log in again if we want to. So let me just try it again. Click log in. You're logged in. So we can click log out again and it refers us back here. So now we've successfully created our log out button. We can log ourselves out while we're testing this. Um, and uh, we can eventually log a user out if they were to use this system.